Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Kids are back at school this week, so it's my second day of the school run. You already know I hate the school run, but January's even worse when you've got to defrost your car. There's more water on the inside of my car than there is on the outside. But I'm having my hair cut this morning and I'm having it dyed. I have got greys popping out all over the place. Yep, grey at 31. It's what happens when you do cakes for a living. <laughs> I don't get to have it done very often because either one, I don't have time, two, I can never afford it, and three, I'm not really a girly girl who can keep up with the maintenance that's required to keep your hair looking all right. You wouldn't even believe I actually washed this last night. It's still greasy at the roots. I can't wash my hair over the sink properly. You can't give your hair a good scrub over the sink when your nose is right over the plug hole. <laughs> like yesterday's broccoli water hitting you in the face. <laughs> so if anything, I'm just looking forward to having my hair washed properly today. So my appointment's at 10, it's 10 past 9, I'm actually going to have to set off in a minute. So I need to go and draw some money out. And I also need to go and get some food to hide in my bag. It does take quite a while at the address as well, the dye ticks and sets in so the last thing I need is to start getting hungry at the hairdressers and then just pass out in the chair <laughs> so I'm gonna go get some goodies to put in my bag and then I need to get back and finish that Beauty and the Beast tutorial I did start it I just haven't finished it I'm back and I have clean hair I went for my usual purple so I always have it purple but I decided to lighten the ends a little bit but because when my purple it fades to red, obviously when you bleach it, it's gonna go a bit orange. But the ends are a little bit lighter and then it'll get lighter and lighter as I wash it and then we can have it lighter the next time I go. I'll go to the window and see if it's a bit brighter. So yeah, it's like a darker purple at the top and then goes to a lighter lilac colour at the bottom. It is 10 past one, so I haven't got much time to get this tutorial done. Usually goes up at five. Right, I am 10 minutes into the video and it's taken two hours to write the script and I'm still not done yet, but I have to break off to go and get Abby from school. working on ganache and a cake today it's only a little six inch but I can't show you what I'm doing because it's a collaboration with some other youtubers so I'm filming the making of that today hence why I haven't used the camera much but that will be coming your way close to Valentine's Day so obviously it'll be before Valentine's Day so everybody has a chance to make the cakes for Valentine's Day but I shall be linking everybody else who is involved as well and they've all made their own different themes of cakes so I've got no orders this week, but it doesn't mean to say I'm not making cake. So I've got no customer orders because one, I'm doing that collaboration and I'm doing another two cakes that are tutorials, but those aren't going up on my channel. The two tutorials are for Cake Flicks. So I'm pretty sure you'll all have heard of Cake Flicks. It's Paul Bradford. He has an online cake school, which is now rebranded to Cake Flicks. And yes, it's like Netflix for cakes. So I am going there on Friday so that I'm up ready in the morning to shoot one video on Saturday and one video on Sunday. Obviously, I can't tell you what the theme is for them either because I'm sure they'll want to announce what they are. But at least I can take you along with me to see the behind the scenes of what goes on. So yeah, not much actual cake to show you this week, but I am still making cakes. It is almost time to go and collect Abby from school, so I'm gonna go and do that, and then I will check in with you later. It's Thursday night at half past seven, and I'm just starting to pack. <laughs> Managed to get all my other jobs done. The Valentine's tutorial is finished, the pictures are finished. Couple of emails to do before I go, and I have to be at the airport tomorrow for, I think it's right about one o'clock, because my flight is at almost four o'clock, or I have to be there for two o'clock. I am sure I will sort it out. This is actually only my fifth flight. And because it's been so long since we've been anywhere, I always forget what you're supposed to do at the airport. Especially when somebody else has booked the flight for you. But I've got a checked bag, so we've got this big bag that we can take 20 kilos in. So majority of that is actually gonna be sugar paste. I'm taking my couture paste with me. There is lots of um, Karma Massa at the other end to use, which as we all know is the Rolls Royce of sugar paste. But there's one little thing that's wrong with it. It doesn't like being airbrushed, especially if you're airbrushing it purple. 
I once airbrushed a whole cake purple and before my eyes it started turning blue. So to be on the safe side, I'm taking the couture with me. A couple of colours of Renshaw's as well because I'm not sure how the massa colours behave. I'm sure they're not much different but I'm going to take a couple anyway. So let's get this bag packed. <laughs> Finally, it's Sunday today and I've finished both tutorials. Uh, we had a little bit of a mishap with my suitcase. Um, on the way here, my black airbrush colour decided to leak all over the suitcase. It went all over the sugar paste, all over the foam core, um, and it seeped, seeped through the suitcase as well. So, But we managed to get both of these cakes finished, so I'll show you what they look like now. So this is the first one that I did on Saturday, which is the village wedding cake. It's got some bunting on it, the flower girls and the little church at the bottom. And then today we've just literally wrapped up this Lost in Paradise cake. So it's got some lovebirds on the top, some hand painting and some Aztec stones as well. But look at the backdrop. This is amazing. The sun's just still out as well. We've got the palm trees in the background. There's a stunning view, like 360 view all the way around. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it just going down over that little hump there. <laughs> so we're back in the studio now and we've popped the cakes next to these fabulous ones by Natalie Porter. This one's gorgeous, I think this one's my favourite. It's a really nice navy blue colour um, with some pop of colourful roses on there. So this is the one that you've just seen, the village wedding cake. And then we've got another more classical one. This is another Natalie Porter cake. Some nice flowers and buds on there. I think I need to take this class because <laughs> I am rubbish at flowers and leaves and things. So that looks really cool. Then we've got my paradise one. Up here we've got the cake flicks letters. Um, Paul's done a little test cake up here, he was doing a little practice cake, little jungle animals, there's a little snake there. And a little giraffe sticking up the top. And then this one's really cute as well, he's, he's running this one as a class, um, I think the class is actually already sold out now, so it's three dragons all sat on top of each other. There's the pink one at the bottom, <laughs> getting squashed by the orange one. And then the purple one, I think this one's really cute with these little colourful spikes. Oh, he's got a horn as well. <laughs> a dragon horn. And then over here is another one. This is out as a tutorial already on Cake Flicks. So it's got a big flower on the top. Very tall squares. Some flowers there and some hand painting on it. He's got a really cool orange tree as well, right outside the window. Weird! What is it doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going, it's giving it some welly, that. That is. Is oh, there anybody there? What is that? Is there anybody there? It's like one of them things on the top <laughs> of a piano. Look at I it. Know. It's like a bedroom. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even spooked by it. <laughs> no, I'm not spooked very easily. I that, wish it wasn't an are you getting it? Yeah. That, oh, that is so weird. Have you ever, like. I've not touched it. Not touched no. it, no. Go on, you touch it. Yeah, you know, get electrocuted off it. <laughs> Will it stop if you touch it? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, no, look at it. Oh, my God. Look, I stop it. Right. Oh, you broke it. Oh, no, it's going, look. It's starting it's again. It's building it up, look. What? Oh what? My God. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. So that's probably been doing that since the last time and I did that, which is still just sat ago. here all through the night. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the that, weirdest that is, thing. Is. In Malaga Airport, finding this a little bit difficult. 
I'm think I'm not too late. I've probably got about a quarter of an hour to my flight, and I'm trying to find my gate. I've just had my picture taken from a little machine, and my passport scanned, so I hope I'm going the right way. I made it home, and yes, I feel how I look. <laughs> I was going to put some makeup on, but it's in my suitcase. I haven't unpacked. I got in at, I think it was two o'clock this morning, and then my alarm went off at half six to get up to do the school run, only to find Adam had taken Abby to my mum's for her to do the school run so I could have a lie-in. <laughs> but I got up anyway. So yeah, Malaga Airport, it took me a while to find my gate. So I found this big map that showed like a big long line saying that I was here and it was a big corridor and then it kind of just split off into two more corridors for gates B and A I think. So I thought alright I'll just go down there and I'll split off into that corridor. It was miles away and I had to go through another like passport checking thing where it takes your picture. I've never had to do that before, but when I got back to Manchester I had to do it again. So it must be a new thing. I don't fly that much, so that was completely new to me. The flight back was actually really good. Um, the plane was packed, it was full, apart from the two seats right at the side of me. So I was in the window seat and then two empty seats. So that was amazing, because I, I just put the armrests up, put my feet along the seats, used my coat as a blanket and sat there and watched a film. So I downloaded a film onto so that you can download films on the Netflix app so you don't have to use the internet to stream it. So I downloaded the film called Split. was really, really enjoying that film, um, but the ending was a bit naff. I do know like they're, they're making another one called is it Mr Glass or Glass um, to tie Unbreakable and Split in together. But yeah, the ending was just a bit rubbish for like the film on its own. So I had great fun filming those two cakes. It's always a bit stressful though, making cake to a camera and talking at the same time. But both Paul and David looked after me very well. Paul makes an amazing vegetable soup. He also um, gave me some oranges for actually from his orange tree to bring back as well. So as soon as I know when those tutorials will be going up, I'll post them on Facebook or Instagram and they'll be going up on the Cake Flicks website. But yeah, this vlog's been pretty short. I didn't want to film much whilst I was out there and because I was there to do a job. So I wanted to make sure the job part was done before I did anything else. And it did take quite a while to do the village wedding cake. It took all day. I did manage to finish the Birds of Paradise or the, the Lost lost in paradise I've forgotten what we've called it already but I did manage to finish that one a little bit earlier hence why I managed to do a little bit of the vlogging but yeah I'm there to do a job so I wanted to get that done first before I started messing around with the camera so today I am just catching up with all my emails I am going to edit this vlog because this needs to go up for five o'clock and I also have a tutorial to edit for tomorrow because I don't have tomorrow's tutorial sorted out so I am going to get that done and I will see you next week bye guys